Welcome to the class. Dear students, today in this video session, we are going to discuss on geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism, when we are discussing, we will discuss into the following sections, the following four sections. In section one, we are going to see what are geometrical isomers. We are going to define it and we are going to see an example of it. In section two, we will see which compounds show geometrical isomerism. Is it alkane or is it alkene or alkyne? We will see that in this section. In section number three, we will see relative stability of cis and trans isomer. In this section, we will compare the cis and trans isomer and we will determine which of these isomers is more stable. In the fourth section, we will see can geometrical isomers be really or actually interconverted? So we will see all this in this session. Let us start with section number one. What are geometrical isomers? Section one, what are geometrical isomerism? So in geometrical isomers, the isomers, they differ from each other. Isomers, they are different from each other in only one aspect. In, with respect to position that the atoms occupy in space and all this around a double bond all this happens around a double bond the molecular formula is same for the geometrical isomers what they actually differ in is the position that they take up in space position that they take up in space around the double bond okay if such is such is the case then those isomers are referred to as geometrical isomers to understand the definition in a much better way let us take the example of butene 2 butene yes what is the what are the possibilities of 2 butene let us analyze it 2 butene can exist in two ways there are two possibilities one in which the same groups are on the same sides of the plane here the cs3 groups are on one side of the plane and here the H group are on, on the other side of the plane and there is another possibility in which the same groups are on opposite sides of the plane here the two CS3 groups are on opposite sides of the plane as well as these two H groups are also on the opposite sides of the plane now let us look at this CS3 group this one and let us analyze the position of other groups with respect to this okay so let us i have taken this cs3 group let me see the position of cs3 group with respect to it it lies in the right top position okay this lies in the right top position what about this hydrogen the first hydrogen it lies in the right bottom position and what about this hydrogen it lies in the left bottom position okay for possibility number two let us analyze the position of other atoms with respect to this atom okay so with respect to this cs3 the cs3 the other cs3 lies actually in the right bottom portion the first h lies in the right top portion and the second h lies in the left bottom portion so in these two possibilities in these two um, uh, isomers here in these two possibilities what is different is the molecular formula different no what is different the spatial arrangement of atom the spatial arrangement of these three atoms with respect to this atom here also it is same molecular formula as this right what is different is the spatial arrangement of the other three atoms with respect to this it is not the case of only this atom if you are comparing uh, if you are taking this atom and comparing and uh, analyzing the relative positions of other atoms relative to this for this it would be different and for this it would be different so here in these two possibilities the atoms they only differ in the space in the position that they take in the space and nothing else they only differ in the positions that they take up in space and all this happens around a double bond if so if such is the condition then the possibilities uh, the compounds that actually exist the possible compounds that actually exist are called as geometrical isomers these possible compounds they differ from each other in the position that they take up in space 
in the position that they take up in space. Look, here it was at the right top position, while here the CH3 group is in the right bottom position. So, they differ, they are same in molecular formula, all what they differ is the position that they take up in space around the double bond. Now, let us see the answer to section number 2 because I am saying it here because the answer is here itself. Which compounds show geometrical isomers? The answer is very clear. Those compounds that contain the double bond. But do all alkenes show geometrical isomerism? The answer is no. For this, for to know the answer, let us go into section number 3. Which compounds show geometrical isomerism? Section 3. Which compounds show geometrical isomerism? The answer to this question is very simple. Alkenes, compounds containing double bonds, alkenes and its derivatives exhibit geometrical isomerism. But why do not alkenes show geometrical isomerism? Let us look at why alkenes do not show why what is the reason that it does not show geometrical isomerism? Let us look into it. For that purpose, I am taking an alkane here. This is ethane. I have written ethane like this. Now, it is the single bond here. Between these two methyl groups, there is a single bond. So, the two methyl groups, it can easily rotate around the single bond. Free rotation is actually possible around the single bond. You imagine a situation where there is a wooden plank that is held by only one nail two wooden planks held by only one nail what would happen these two groups these two wooden uh, planks are actually free to move they are free to move so they can take a number of spatial uh, arrangements am i right and this one spatial arrangement it is easily interconvertible into the other correct this can go 360 degree and come back this one this can go 360 degree and come back in its original position. So if two wooden planks are held by a nail, both are easily rotatable and a number of spatial arrangements are possible. Okay, and if it takes a 360 degree turn, it can come back to its original form. So all these spatial arrangements, all these conformers are actually interconvertible. Okay, if there is a single bond. Now let us look at this example. If there is a single bond, the two CS3 groups can actually rotate because free rotation is possible around a single bond as if as we have seen for two wooden planks. So there are a number of spatial arrangements that are possible. However, there are two main spatial arrangements. One is the staggered in which the groups are tied to each other and one is the eclipsed where the groups actually eclipse each other. Now, if you ask me which one is more stable, it is very obvious that the standard configuration is more stable. This is because uh, eclipsed configuration, there are overlapping of atomic orbitals or electron clouds and this creates steric repulsion. So, this is very, un this is a comparatively unstable and this is more stable. Now, do these interconvert among each other? Do these conformers interconvert among each other? Answer is yes. See, if it rotates around by 60 degree, it is easily interconverted into its eclipsed conformer. Also, it requires an energy of 3 kilocalorie per mole. Why? Because I already said that this is more thermodynamically energetic than this. I already said that the standard is more stable than the eclipsed, right? So this is thermodynamically more energetic. This thermodynamically uh, higher energy is just 3 kilocalorie per mole, just 3 kilocalorie per mole. It has to rotate 60 degree and achieve this energy. If it achieves this energy, it can easily interconvert into this. That is eclipsed conformer. This energy is easily available at room temperature by collisions because ethane molecules are not going to sit like that right they are going to collide at room temperature also they are going to collide so this collision itself this amount of energy is generated and 60 degree rotation is also there it, because it is free to move so this can easily be converted into its eclipsed conformer so there is no fixed position in space 
no fixed position in space for alkanes or for in this in this case ethane so because there are no fixed position in space one cannot identify or isolate one conformer from the other because it easily inter converts into the other form and so there is no fixed position in space no special isomerism is possible for ethane molecule or alkane molecule special isomerism is not possible because the moment you uh, and the uh, isolate this one it easily inter converts into this okay so there is no question of having a fixed position in space there is no question for having a uh, of the compound showing special isomerism a geometrical isomerism is a kind of special isomerism where positions of atoms in the space are fixed so there is no fixation of such position in alkanes so it does not show geometrical isomerism now let us take the case of alkynes why doesn't it show geometrical isomerism for this purpose i have taken an alkyne acetylene this is acetylene or ethylene as you can see there is only one group attached to each of the carbon atoms containing the triple bond there is only one group so total there are two groups i am reminding you this that the formation of acetylene involves sp hybridization that is each of the carbon atom is sp hybridized what is sp hybridization called as the other name it's called as linear hybridization why is it called as a linear hybridization because ultimately the structure of the molecule is a linear shape look there are only two groups one group attached to each carbon atom containing the triple bond there are actually in total two groups the two groups will go to the farthest position possible according to the vscpr theory after hybridization has taken place after it has bonded to uh, to uh, respective atoms the, if there are two groups the two groups will go to the farthest position possible in space if there are only two groups the farthest position possible will be only if they lie linearly with respect to each other or if the molecule as a whole is linear so therefore i agree that there is no there is a hindrance to rotation here because of triple bonds right there is a hindrance of rotation because of triple bond it cannot rotate therefore the position is fixed that also i agree the position here is fixed but what happens here there is only one group okay and uh, uh, in total there are two groups and they lie linearly to each other according to vscpr theory so there is no other shape that is possible there is only one shape so the question of any other kind of possibility of structure or any other kind of arrangement does not arise and therefore this alkyne won't show any kind of special isomerism or any kind of stereo isomerism geometrical isomerism is a kind of stereo isomerism it won't show any kind of stereo isomerism we have seen that alkanes and alkynes do not show geometrical isomerism and we have already discussed that it is only alkenes and its derivatives compounds that contain double bonds that show or that exhibit geometrical isomerism but does all the alkenes show geometrical isomerism does all of it show the answer is no not all alkenes show geometrical isomerism only those alkenes in which there are two different atoms attached to each of the carbon containing the double bond two different atom here you can see two different atom attached to each of the carbon here you are seeing two different atom attached to this carbon atom containing the double bond only such kind of alkenes will show geometrical isomerism here also in this you can see two different atoms attached to carbon atom two different atoms attached to carbon atom containing double bond so each of the carbon atom should have two double two different atoms and uh, between this carbon bond there should be a double bond so only such type of alkenes will show geometrical isomerism now the difference between this and this is that th here the two different atoms attached to each of the carbon atoms are actually the same 
correct it is ab here also it is ab so the two different atoms attached to each of the carbon atom is the same in such case the alkene is a simple alkene here in this one the two different atoms attached to each of the carbon atom is different is a different set of atom right the two different atoms attached to each of the carbon containing double bond is a different set of atoms in this case the alkene is referred to as the complex alkene now if this is the case if this is the alkene where there is the which where there are two different atoms attached to each of the carbon and these two different atoms are same if this is the kind of alkene then this kind of alkene can exist in two conditions in two probabilities correct it can exist as in two probabilities one in which the same kind of atoms attached to the carbon atom are on the same side of the molecule or are on the same side of the plane i repeat it can exist in a way like wherein the same kind of atoms for example bb attached to the carbon are on the same side of the plane right it can also exist in the way when the same kind of atoms are on the opposite sides of the plane same kind of atoms are on the opposite sides of the place in the case where the same kind of atoms are on the same side of the plane that isomer the exist that, that isomer is referred to as this cis isomer the word cis means same cis isomer and in the case where the same kind of atoms are on the opposite sides of the plane that kind of isomer is referred to as the trans isomer okay the so cis isomer can also exist and trans isomer can also exist for a simple alkene like this where the two different atoms on each of the carbon atoms are same kind are of the same kind of atom are a same set correct so in that kind of isomer cis and trans isomerism can exist cis trans isomer can exist right so, so because the geometrical isomerism of simple alkene involves cis and trans isomer therefore geometrical isomerism in simple alkene is also referred to as cis trans isomerism it is also referred to as cis trans isomerism i repeat because the geometrical isomerism of simple alkene involves what existence of cis and trans isomer therefore the geometrical isomerism of simple alkene is specifically referred to as the cis and trans isomers okay now let us come to complex alkene in complex alkene the two different atoms attached to each of the carbon atom containing double bond are different set of atoms if such is the case then it is a complex alkene in a complex alkene cis and trans isomerism cannot be assigned right cis configuration and trans configuration cannot be assigned because there are no two same atoms there are no two same atoms all atoms are different so you cannot assign cis and trans configuration in that case you will have to go for assigning e and z configuration how do you assign a e and z configuration in short i will tell you here itself first you have to see one carbon atom you have to select one carbon atom suppose i select this carbon atom you have to assign priority between these two atoms which one will you assign priority you assign priority based on various factors like atomic number atomic mass multiple bonds atomic number is the main thing it is the main it is usually the tool that is used for assigning priority so here i am taking atomic number suppose the atomic number of a is greater than b then a gets the prior gets the prioritized group okay it gets number 1 priority right it is the priority group suppose now you go to second carbon atom in the second carbon atom you assign priority between x and y suppose x is having higher atomic number then x is the prioritized group if the prioritized group are on the same side then z configuration is assigned okay if the prioritized group are on the opposite side of the molecule then e configuration is assigned so what we have studied here in complex alkene we are not using cis and trans 
configuration we are not assigning cis and trans configuration because there are no set of, there are no two atoms are same because no two atoms are same all atoms are different in that case we will assign e and z configuration how do we assign e and z configuration you select a carbon atom you see which is the priority group okay if it is having higher atomic number this is the prioritized group suppose x is the higher atomic number this is the prioritized group so if prioritized group are on the same side it is z configuration if it is on the opposite side it is e configuration this system was proposed by khan ingold and prelog now consider the case where same kind of atoms are attached to each of the carbon atom containing the double bond if such is the case then as you can see there is no kind of isomer that is possible because there is uh, all the atoms are same and uh, you cannot differentiate between uh, these atoms so of, of course there is no question of any kind of geometrical isomerism taking place in such a kind of alkene even in alkene in which one of the carbon atom is having same kind of atoms i repeat even in alkene in which one of the carbon atom is having same kind of alkene then you can see the possibilities here in this one of in th leave this because these are the same kind if this flips here if this flips here does it make any difference this can be flipped here b and b in place of b it can come a can come here and the, you can see that interchange of positions among b and a if such is the condition if only one uh, if only two atoms interchange their position then also you can see that there is no kind of geometrical isomer that is formed it is because if you are rotating this molecule at a perpendicular axis by about 180 degree then this molecule actually becomes same to same as this molecule okay it becomes a super impossible so if you are just because a molecule it is not like this right it, it doesn't exist like this it is not a rigid it always it goes like this right so like this is my uh, angle to you this is my angle if this is this is my 90 degree and this one is my 180 degree like this like fine so this i am taking it like this this is 90 degree and flipping it like this this is 180 degree so if i keep it like this this actually becomes same to same as this so there is no question of any kind of geometrical isomerism that is possible because the molecule doesn't remain in this manner it flips and flips in the system like this right so if it flips then it is the same thing so uh, alkene like this where same atoms are attached to either of the carbon atom containing the double bond or even if the same kind of atoms are attached to one of the carbon atom containing the double bond if such is the case then geometrical isomerism won't exist section 3 which of the two isomers are more stable is the cis isomer more stable or is the trans isomer more stable for this i have illustrated here the example of but 2 in this is the cis isomer and this is the trans isomer of but 2 in this is cis but 2 in this is trans but 2 in now i tell you that the trans isomer is more stable the trans isomer is more stable than the cis isomer why let us look at the cis isomer here you can see two bulky groups there is an overlap of electron cloud of the two bulky groups there is an overlap of the electron cloud of the two bulky groups this overlap creates repulsion between the electrons of the two bulky group not only the electrons but of the nucleus also there is electron there is repulsion between nucleus as well as electrons of the two bulky groups because of the overlap of their molecular orbitals therefore cis isomer is not stable it is not so stable whereas in the trans isomer you are seeing that there is no overlap of the electron clouds and these bulky groups are at the farthest position available or possible 
this there is no kind of steric repulsion in trans isomer because there is no overlap of bulky groups while you can see here the steric repulsion because of overlap of their molecular orbitals so therefore for this reason the trans isomer is more stable than the cis isomer section 4 interconversion between cis and trans isomer is there an interconversion possible between the cis and trans isomer to be speaking at room temperature it is not possible why because the conversion the conversion of cis this is a cis isomer for illustration we have taken cis to butene for this conversion to trans to butene what has to be achieved first of all this double bond has to be cleaved why it has to be cleaved is because rotation is not possible if a double bond is present actually double bond provides a hindrance to the rotation of these groups around the carbon carbon bonds if a double bond is present that free rotation of groups is not possible so this double bond is to be broken broken so to break a double bond we need actually 40 kilocalorie per mole of energy so when that is provided when that kind of energy is provided which is not provided at room temperature so there is no question of interconversion at room temperature uh, so if this kind of energy is provided from external source okay then what would happen this bond would break when this double bond or pi bond breaks the free rotation around carbon carbon single bond is actually possible so it one it rotates when it rotates what happens that these groups are at the farthest position possible right the bulky groups are at the farthest position possible this is much stable much stable condition than the starting product right so at this situation it is most favorable heat is evolved exothermic reaction it is and double bond is formed heat is evolved in the formation of double bond okay because double bond is thermodynamically much stable it has lesser energy than a single bond for because of that heat is evolved so the interconversion is possible but only at a temperature of 350 to 400 degrees celsius or only when a temperature of 40 kilocalorie per mole is being provided examples of geometrical isomerism we have already seen cis and trans to butene now we will see hexene 2 hex this is 3 hexene right 3 hexene so we are seeing now this is cis 3 hexene because the ethyl ethyl group are on the same side and when the ethyl group are on opposite side it is a trans 3 hexene so cis and trans 3 hexene here we are seeing 1 2 dibromo ethene 1 2 dibromo ethene correct this is cis 1 2 dibromo ethene when the bromine are on the same side it is cis 1 2 dibromo ethene when the bromine groups are on the opposite side it is trans 1 2 dibromo ethene similarly you can see other examples of cis trans isomerism or geometrical isomerism this is 2 3 dichlorobutene this is 2 3 this is 1 2 3 this is 2 3 dichlorobutene right this is the cis isomer when chlorine are on the same side and cs3 are on the same side this is a cis isomer and this is trans when cs3 are on opposite side when the chlorine is on the opposite side it is referred to as the trans isomer so it is a cis and trans isomers of 2 3 dichlorobutene similarly for dicarboxylic acids also we can see this is the malic acid when coh group is on the same side of the ethene right and this is the fumaric acid when coh group is on the opposite side of uh, ethene right of the plane of ethene molecule so this is the malic acid and this one is the fumaric acid now for a complex alkene you can see an example here this is crotonic acid this one when the higher priority groups are on the uh, same side okay so this is a crotonic acid and when the higher priority groups are on the opposite side 
it is referred to as the isocrotonic acid okay isocrotonic acid so this is actually a z isomer because they are the higher priority groups are on the same side and this is the e isomer when the higher priority groups are on the opposite side right so uh, it is an it's a z crotonic acid it's an e crotonic acid but commonly we are saying it as crotonic and isocrotonic acid dear students uh, if you have liked the class if you have understood it please do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel Thank you very much.